Hey guys, welcome back to After Work Outdoors. Walleye fishing is fun any time of the year, but uh, the fishing gets especially good here on Georgian Bay in October and November. You can catch all sizes of walleye in the daytime, but at night, the uh, quality of the fish gets much, much better. I think I'm going to call this episode Georgian Bay Walleye or Georgian Bay Monster Walleye, something like that. So I, uh, I guess all I have to do now is go catch a monster walleye. Let's go see what happens. Just like that, he's off. <laughs> we'll get another one. <laughs> it's too bad that fish. Uh, that fish really felt like a good one. He hit nice and hard, and uh, just shook when it got to the boat. He looked to be about 25 inches. Hope we can do better. Too bad, how are you? Uh, not too bad, just caught here though. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I certainly do. How you going? Not too bad. Having fun tonight or what? Yeah. That's nice, we finally got some cold weather, eh? I know. I thought it was you and when I was the back of it. Yeah, almost too dark, perfect. Yeah, almost too dark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, enjoy the night. How's fishing been? It's been awesome. Anyway, yeah, yeah you, you guys uh, enjoy the night. What's that? Yeah, you too. Good luck. Alrighty, take care. Have a good one. See ya. There's one. It doesn't feel very big though. Yeah, feels like he's about 20 inches. Two inches, first official fish of the night. Let's put him back. I think we can get a lot bigger ones than that. Unfortunately, I had some audio issues for some of these shots. What I'm doing tonight is trolling minnow lures over structure and deep open water. It's sometimes tough to find these fish at night, so trolling works extremely well to locate and pinpoint them. They could be in 30 feet or they can be in 6. It all depends on the night. Electronics are a huge part of night fishing. You literally couldn't know where you are at all in the pitch black because I, I, I can't see much around me at all. The full moon's hidden by the clouds, so 
I rely on my, uh, my Garmin chart plotter here quite a bit. And one feature that makes this uh, chart plotter worth the money is the quick draw contours. So you can see here that we have this all around here is the standard um, standard charts and they're they're not always all that accurate and Garmin has a feature called quick draw contours and uh, how that works is when you drive it actually maps the bottom for you and creates all the contours so you can see here that I know that there's this hump here that I've never fished before and I think it's right here and you can see the depth shading you know 20 feet 11 8 feet up on the top watch what happens Watch what happens when I drive over it. See the icon moving here. Oops. So, you see it kind of looks like it's almost like Pac-Man. It's eating the, uh, the old contours. And that's because those contours are not accurate. So you can see as I, as I turn here, it, it's actually mapping what's what exactly is there, not what the, the charts think is there, because the charts just are never, never all that accurate. So the more I drive over it, of this hump and it looks pretty good so let's fish it and see what happens so that hump that we just uh, plotted just hooked up on it I've never fished this hump before in my life doesn't feel like a giant but a quality fish nonetheless It was about 24. Let's see if there's any more. Hope this one sticks because it feels good. Try hand land this one. He's just hooked a little bit, so if I get if I don't get him, don't blame me. <laughs> I 
Another great fish. He's not as big as I thought he was, but. Twenty-four inches measured. Beautiful. All right, put him back. This guy's ready to go right now. <laughs> All these fish are 24, 25 inches. Let's go find a different spot. We've got some bigger ones. Well, or smaller ones. Let's see if it paid off, Let's see how big he is. <laughs> he feels rather small. Alright, we're gonna try hand land this one again. anything giant we're gonna move again unfortunately for me the audio died yet again a few more smaller fish boated the fish I've been catching have been averaging 24 inches I'm incredibly lucky to be able to call Georgian Bay my home waters I feel almost spoiled to be able to consistently catch fish of this quality. And it's really tough to move spots to look for bigger fish when you are catching. But tonight, I'm glad I did when I hooked into a much larger fish than I've been catching all night. Twenty-nine and a quarter inches, and man, what a fat and beautiful fish. This fish is likely between 20 and 25 years old. Holding a fish that could have hatched when I was 10 is pretty damn cool. This time of year, the fish are feeding hard before winter. You can stop the boat almost anywhere and see shiners and bait fish on the surface in the dark. The Cisco also spawn this time of year, and all this forage no doubt helps the these fish pack on the pounds. The limit on fish of this size here is one per day, and this really helps preserve such an awesome fishery. Although there's nothing wrong with keeping some for dinner, letting these big girls go to spawn again in the spring ensures that they'll be fish this size for our children to catch and enjoy. So always remember to practice catch and release. So my camera messed up a bit. <laughs> Check out what I got in the net here. Oh. Look at that giant. <laughs> Man, another 
are monster. Let's look at the size of this guy. That is 30 and a quarter inches. <laughs> oh. This one's not quite as not quite as fat as the other one. But that is a 30 and a quarter inch fish. Man, that's beautiful. Enough time with the fish. Let's get that bad boy back in the water. Look at that view. Imagine breaking 30 tonight. I am so glad we left that spot with all the 24s and 25s. <laughs> Woo! I have to say, when we had that 29, I wasn't sure if we were going to beat it, but that well, looks like we did. Sweet. That is awesome. So every time I go out fishing, there's there's always sort of a, up a take home lesson. And I'll just show you one uh, that's become a little bit evident here today. All right. So you can see this hump here. This is this is the hump that all the uh, the bigger fish tonight have come off of. Now, when I first got here, I started running it back and forth this way. I made about three passes, and I covered you know this side, the middle, this side. You know, you like you'd figure a wall. I'd be holding on the edges. Didn't get hit. And then right before I left, I thought, well, you know, maybe the wall aren't aren't here. But let's just try one more thing. So I turned and I went across it this way. Boom. Got the first big one there. And then I turned and went across it this way. Got bit again, right there. But for whatever reason, the fish did not want my trolling pattern across here. They wanted it this way. And since going this way, I have not been able to make a pass across this shoal. Um, top of it's about nine feet, I guess. I have not been able to make a pass across this shoal without getting bit. Um, and, and all the bigger fish tonight have come off this shoal. So if I had just hit it this way, and moved on. I never would have known those fish were there. So that's a decent less so, sort of a sort of a lesson. You know, if you're not if you're not getting bit going one direction, just turn around and go another. You know, you've got nothing to lose other than you know another two or three minutes. So it's certainly a lesson I'll uh, I'll stick in the back of my mind. And uh, if I'm not getting fish and I should be for some reason, I'll uh, be pulled out again someday and save the day. So we've got a lot of really big fish in the boat tonight. I'd like to try one more spot out, so let's just uh, let's just motor down the bay a little bit and see where we see where we end up. Feels big. Well, it's feeling a little smaller, but it felt big at first, anyway. Oh. I'd say it's got some shoulders. Oh, not a giant, but. Four and a half on his way back home. <laughs> well, that is just too much fun. <laughs> Look at that one. Another great fish.
25 and a half this time. Man. Love the yellow, love the yellow of that fish. I don't know if you can see it in these crappy LED lights, but man, beautiful. This one's ready to go back. Gone. Well, that's enough walleye for one night. There are actually a few more caught tonight, but I can only fit so many into a video. Georgian Bay is an amazing place and I'm incredibly lucky to call it my home. Thanks so much for watching and a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed and left comments so far. You guys are great. I think my next video is some daytime walleye action, so please subscribe for more if you haven't already. Till next time, guys.